What's up, Pharmacy Nation? I'm Pharmacy Joe. Thank you for being a listener of the Elective Rotation, a critical care and hospital pharmacy podcast. This is episode 427. In this episode, I'll discuss topical lidocaine for wound vac dressing changes. I have all the evidence supporting today's show linked up in the show notes at pharmacyjoe.com slash episode 427. Wound vac dressing changes can be particularly painful for patients. The wound vac dressing is a sponge that's placed on top of the wound. During the healing process, the granulation tissue and regenerating nerve endings can grow into the sponge. Significant pain then occurs as a result of the sponge being removed during the dressing change. The addition of topical lidocaine prior to a wound vac dressing change has been shown in a randomized controlled trial to lower patient-reported pain scores and subsequent PRN opioid doses by a significant amount. To utilize lidocaine in this setting, turn off and disconnect the suction canister. Then 20 minutes before the dressing change, inject topical lidocaine in a retrograde fashion up the wound vac suction tubing to saturate the sponge. This step should be done prior to manipulating the occlusive dressing. The dose of lidocaine to use is 4.5 mg per kilo up to a max of 300 mg or 30 ml of a 1% topical solution. This is the generally accepted safe limit for topical lidocaine doses. To get access to my free download area with 20 different resources to help hospital pharmacists in their practice, go to pharmacyjoe.com free. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you in the next episode of the Elective Rotation.